My name is Mohamed Esponte Tyson, and I live at northern part of Sierra Leone, Makini. As I am talking to you, I can confirm that there is a lot of people that are still not believing that Ebola is a real disease, thinking that the signs and symptoms of the disease has been existing for a very long time in this country. All these things are attributed to cholera and malaria. Yes, not just inside Makeni, but I understand for the whole of the country, we have only a single hospital at the south, Kenema, where they can confirm an Ebola patient. Because of this, Whenever somebody is sick, the family will decide to stay with the person at home rather than taking him to the hospital, thinking that when they go to the hospital, he will not only die, but there will be a stigma left in the family. The whole of the family will have this stigma because they all have to go down to the south for the Ebola test. So this thing is preventing people from going to the hospital, which is also leading to the loss of life. People are dying from separate diseases just that they don't want to be suspected of Ebola. Give them the right information, tell them what to do and what not to do, because people don't even believe or maybe they don't know or they are misinformed, and this is causing the outbreak to grow faster. These people will learn from this and then they will be convinced enough that yes, there is a disease and there is also ways to prevent this disease. If they don't trust the government, I can give an example. When the HIV AIDS is announced as a disease and has been an outbreak in Sierra Leone, a lot of people turn the thing around trying to make money out of this and coming into Ebola is the same thing. Normally, the signs and symptoms of Ebola, to be frank, are signs and symptoms that have been existing in the country. And these things get confused with the people. These big people from government who are very rich, powerful, go to the radios, to the television, and tell these people about Ebola. The people will think they are trying to make money for themselves. They are enriching themselves. But if they have like a medium, which presently I am working on with my group. I am a very poor boy who is living around Makini. A lot of people know me. For me to come up on television, or on the radio, on music, and let people listen to me that, oh, I believe Ebola is here, but we have a way we can prevent it, we can do this, we can that. People will believe because they think I am of the same class with them. I am not making money out of this. So that is one way I believe they will be convinced. I have recorded the song and presently I'm almost done with shooting the video. I will move down to Wheel TV to use the facilities there to do the editing. And I do this in Creole because Creole is mostly understood by Sierra Leoneans and I'm doing this purposely for Sierra Leoneans. The song, the chorus, goes like this. In a day, Pico. In a de pico, Ebola, in a de pico, in a de pico, Ebola, if you're a man or woman, he go kill you, Ebola, if you're a Pekin or big one, I say you go die, yo, Ebola. I say my brothers and sisters, they will believe Ebola na sick, he just come and I'm so sick, he de kills. But we get many ways for make we able to prevent them. We then say, no shake your hands for sin. Add a babe, do you have for left? You know, for each bush animal. Yes, you go get the sick. That one day now is for you, your life. Hey, you ever listen? I say, that one day now is for this country. That we let ya. Oh, in a day, pick off. In a day, pick off. Ebola, in a day, pick off. In a de pico, Ebola, if you're not man or woman, he go kill you, Ebola, if you're not picking a big one, I say you go die, yo, Ebola. This is just telling the people that um, Ebola is a disease which is just an outbreak in the country and people should believe because Ebola will not 
differentiate who you are or what you are. Whosoever come in contact with it, it can kill you. It doesn't matter if you are somebody from the medical department, if you are a rich man, if you are a poor man. Ebola does not want to know about this. So I try to bring things like people should stop shaking hands, people should stop eating um, bush animals like chimpanzees, monkeys, and all these things. Because you can be infected with Ebola quickly through these things. So this is just what the song is all about. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Banker. Hey, yeah!